It's crazy to think, you know, December's just kind of checking along there. I know, it's flying. It feels like almost yesterday we were in June and now we're in December. Well, it kind of still feels maybe a little bit at the end of that summer, spring type weather. It's been so warm lately, Gino. It has been, and we might see another one of those days as well, Abby. We saw a high temperature of 50 degrees yesterday. Warmest December high temperature in three years. Now, keep in mind, Normally on November 1st, we see an average high temperature of 50 degrees. We normally see 31 for this time of the year. So if you love the weather yesterday, you're probably going to enjoy it today as well. The only change today, we're going to see a gradual increase in cloud cover. 28 degrees with a calm wind. Our sunrise at 718, our sunset at 413. A fun fact. Right now we're at the earliest sunset of the year. We're now we're just seeing the sunrise get later and later as we get closer to the winter equinox. 26 in Pembine, 28 Appleton, Oshkosh, Fond du Lac. We've got lower 30s along the lake shore. Winds pretty calm right now. They'll start to pick up light out of the south about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But right now wind chill factors not really much of an impact at the moment. We're looking at satellite and radar with quiet weather across the Badger State. There is a system up towards the north, an area of low pressure that's tracking across the Canadian border. There's that area of low pressure right there. We're in between high pressure off to the east, another high pressure off towards the west. But this is the area of low pressure, the storm system gathering strength over the southwestern part of the country that will be moving ahead across the plains and eventually into the Midwest. Right now, we don't have any watches across anywhere in the vicinity of our area, but we will probably start to see some weather headlines posted in some of the counties as we get closer into tomorrow and Saturday. Here's a wider scope showing the band of snowfall developing from North Platte through Des Moines and up into southern Wisconsin. It looks like it will be scraping parts of our area, but it'll be farther down to the southeast section that we'll see that snow by Sunday. It'll be out of here. Here's a closer look across Wisconsin. You're seeing how the snow starts to pick up in the afternoon on Friday, but this will be light initially. We have to wait until later, I'd say into Saturday. That's when the bulk of that heavier snowfall moves through. There's Green Bay. The heaviest of the snowfall will occur over southern Wisconsin. Farther to the northwest you get, the lesser snow you will see. So I would say Fond du Lac, Sheboygan, Manitowoc counties have the best chance to pick up a couple more inches. And then farther northwest you go, it really drops off significantly with some dry air in place. Here's one computer model forecast showing that snowfall, and you can see a couple inches down to the southeast towards Sheboygan, Fond du Lac, and look how much it just drops off. So it's not going to be a big storm for everyone, but what we are starting to see is where we're starting to get the answers and how much we're starting to get the answers as well. Of course, things could change from now until then, so keep up to date with NBC 26. As for today, we'll just have an increase in cloud cover, but overall, a pretty quiet day. So for today, we'll get up to high right around 49 degrees near 50 with that gradual increase in cloud. Uh, south winds about, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight will drop down to 33 with increasing clouds. Winds turning out of the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Seven day forecast down to the upper 30s on Friday and then on Saturday. That's where that snowmaker starts to move in here. Also, Keep in mind that right along the lake shore, we will probably see a little rain snow mix and afterwards we'll start to warm things up a little bit with another chance maybe of light snow Tuesday and Wednesday next week. That warm weather may be calling for a cool treat. You Ooh. know, you know, hey, do this with yeah. me. Ready? Okay. You scream. I scream. We all scream for ice cream. Yeah, now you can win a lifetime supply. We're going to tell you how. Thanks for that, Gino. Keep it here.